I have roamed, I have groped in the night I have stumbled on paths without light Still I know I could walk without fear You were there by my side, always near For this I thank you Lord Yes Lord, for the gift of your life There were times in my life when I cried When I cheated, offended and lied Yet O oh Lord, all my sins you forgave Not to judge come but to save for this I thank you Lord yes Lord for the gift of your life if one day I forget you O Lord if the zeal for your house is no more then I'm sure you will come O oh my friend my weak faith once again. For this I thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, for the gift of your life. My dear brothers and sisters, a warm welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist. We pray for all your personal intentions. Let us continue to pray for students who are answering their exams and preparing for exams. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 11, verses 18 to 20. The Lord revealed it to me. I was warned, O Lord, that was when you opened my eyes to their scheming. I, for my part, was like a trustful lamb being led to the slaughterhouse, not knowing the schemes they were plotting against me. Let us destroy the tree in its strength. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name may be quickly forgotten. But you, the Lord of hosts, who pronounce a just sentence, who probe the lions and heart. Let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsoral Psalm. Lord God, I take refuge in you. Lord God, I take refuge in you. Lord God, I take refuge in you. From my pursuer, save me and rescue me, lest 
He tear me to pieces like a lion and drag me off with no one to rescue me. Response Lord God, I take refuge in you. Give judgment for me, Lord. I am just an innocent of heart. Put an end to the evil of the wicked. Make the just stand firm. You who test mind and heart, O just God. Response Lord God, I take refuge in you. God is a shield that protects me, who saves the upright of heart. God is a just judge, slow to anger, but he threatens the wicked every day. Response Lord God, I take refuge in you. Gospel Acclamation Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. I take pleasure not in the death of a wicked man. It is the Lord who speaks, but the turning back of a wicked man who changes his ways to win life. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 7, verses 40 to 52. Several people who had been listening to Jesus said, Surely he must be the prophet. And some said, He is the Christ. But others said, Would the Christ be from Galilee? Does not scripture say that the Christ must be descended from David and come from the town of Bethlehem? So the people could not agree about him. Some would have liked to arrest him, but no one actually laid hands on him. The police went back to the chief priests and Pharisees, who said to them, Why haven't you brought him? The police replied, There has never been anybody who has spoken like him. So the Pharisees answered, You have been led astray as well. Have any of the authorities believed in him? Any of the Pharisees? This rabble knows nothing about the law. They are damned. One of them, Nicodemus, the same man who had come to Jesus earlier, said to them, but surely the law does not allow us to pass judgment to a man without giving him a hearing and discovering what he is about. To this they answered, Are you a Galilean too? Go into the matter and see for yourself. Prophets do not come out of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is recognized by three different groups of people in three different ways. The first group listening to Jesus and looking at his appearance called him a prophet. The second group, in their simplicity, stated that he is Christ. The third group, using their reason, could not tolerate such claims as the prophet and the Messiah. And so they denied Jesus. They used the scriptures to prove that Jesus is not the Messiah. They used the scriptures that Jesus cannot be the Messiah as the Messiah must come from Bethlehem and be of David's family. The officers who were sent to arrest Jesus too followed their hearts. The officials were sent 
to arrest Jesus, the officials were sent to arrest Jesus too, followed their hearts and understood that Jesus was someone different. The heart is used as a synonym for a conscience. Conscience is a subjective norm of morality telling us what to do and what not to do. Let us be people who follow the conscience thereby we could understand fully who Jesus is and be righteous in our actions. Amen. Blessed and broken, poor and flowing, gift that you gave us to be my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May we receive O Lord we pray the effects of this offering dedicated to you so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and be renewed by growth in heavenly life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice, of praise we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. My dear brothers and sisters, wish you all a wonderful day. We hail thee, Savior and Lord, thy cross ever be adored. We hail thee, Savior and Lord. Yeah.